Welcome, Pisces. This is Renee, and this will be your love reading for December. Let's find out what's going on with Pisces in love for December. And uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, I appreciate all your support. And cards just want to keep jumping out here. Okay. <clears throat> now, if my readings resonate with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay. All these cards wanted to jump out. Pisces. We have perseverance. We have release. We have expansion. Okay. At the bottom, you have impatience. So, yeah, Pisces, what I'm feeling is that you're currently going through something. You're trying to see it through to the end. Um, but I feel like this is something that you may want to release. You may need to release something in order to grow from the situation. But I feel like you're really being impatient. Um, you're like, it is what it is, you know. Just come on with it already. Because with this, with this perseverance, I feel like you're waiting for someone. I feel like you're waiting for them. I feel like someone has you on the string. Someone's pulling you along and not giving you a yes or no answer. And I feel like that's where the impatience is coming. Yeah, I really feel like this is something that you may need to release. This may be something that that you need not to put any more energy into because I feel like I feel like something better is coming. Um see so you have more cards. You always have cards to jump out, Pisces. But I, I feel like by releasing this situation, you're going to grow. You're going to grow and you're going to expand. I feel like maybe you're expanding the people who are being around you or you're expanding something. Um, but I, I feel like you're at the moment where, yeah, you're definitely, you're at the urge of bearing what it is what you want. And you have sacred reverence. So I feel like the keys to the kingdom are yours. And I, I feel like this could deal with love as well. I feel like someone wants to give you the key to their heart. And I feel like that brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. At the very bottom, you have uncharted sea. So th this may be a situation that you haven't had to deal with before. This may be something totally new. This may be, this may be someone that that you may know, but I feel like this is someone that you could definitely share your life with. You have the sword and the rose. So I feel like a lot of clarity, a lot of truth. I feel like you're getting revelation. Um, it also says solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Something is making you feel this way, Pisces. And you also have twin flames. So I, that, that's exactly what I'm feeling like. This person is giving you the keys to their heart. They are like your twin flame. They're your yin to your yang, your zen, your balance, your union, your duality, your coupling. Um, 
you complement each other. It, it may be that, maybe what I was feeling like is that you're an uncharted sea because this person is so similar to you. Maybe you haven't had to deal with someone who's so much like you. Very interesting. At the bottom, you have the chaser. So, you have the chaser. And this could be a codependent relationship. They could have a fear of abandonment issues. And I feel like that's you. That's you, Pisces. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But that that's you. Let's get some tarot in order to get some more clarity on the situation. Yeah, I, I say that's you, Pisces, because um, I'm a Pisces moon. So I know sometimes we can rely too much on somebody. We can rely too much on somebody. We can kind of smother them a little bit. Sometimes we can give them too much distance. Okay, let's take a look. What's going on for Pisces in love for December? We have the Nine of Wands. Perseverance again. Oh. We have the Moon. When I see the Moon, I see you, Pisces. I feel like this is you coming out. The chariots. The seven of cups. You have the eight of swords. We have the two of wands. Okay. We have the hermits. And we have the four of pentacles. Okay. At the bottom, we have the ten of wands. So yeah, I feel like you are overthinking this situation. If this is a situation that you're trying to stick into, Pisces, you're trying to see it to the end. I feel like uh, you're carrying a lot of weight of the situation. I feel like you are waiting I feel like you're holding on. But I feel like you're fearful for walking down this path. I feel like you know what road you need to follow, but you're very fearful to walk towards these mountains. You want to stay. And actually, Pisces, Pisces are very big adventurers. They're, they're, run on their intuition they follow the lead you know they're not fearful so that's why i'm wondering why you are being fearful of the situation why are you so reluctant to follow this path Why do you feel like you need to hold yourself back? Why do you feel like you need to follow this certain situation to the very end? And I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're following it to the very end.
Now with the chariot and the seven of cups, I feel like whether you know it or not, I feel the, I feel like you're you are moving. It may be that you're literally moving. Um, it may be that you're changing your mind. Um, it may be that you're going to a certain destination. It may be that you're traveling. Um, but I feel like you have so many options. But I also feel like you're moving because maybe you or this person didn't want to commit. You didn't want to give each other a commitment in this relationship. And I feel like that has put your head in the clouds of the situation. I feel like you are just... I feel like it really messed you up. But I feel like this person... Or this could be you, but I feel like this person didn't want to commit. They want to keep searching. And I feel like you're holding yourself back. You're tying yourself down to the situation and you're waiting. You're waiting for results. You're waiting for them to commit. But waiting for this commitment, Pisces, I feel like waiting for this commitment is just making you go deeper within yourself. With this hermit and this four of pentacles energy, I feel like waiting for this commitment is just putting you deep within yourself. You know the truth about the situation, but I feel like you really don't want to accept it. Um, and this may wind up with you alone. In a situation like this, to be totally honest, I don't think alone is a bad thing because I see that you're looking for, you're looking for stability. You're looking for something long-term Pisces. And I'm not sure if you found it in this person. Now, there's someone over here who wants to give you their, the keys to their heart. There's someone over here that could be a possible twin flame. Let's get a little bit more clarity for Pisces. You know what? I want to take a few more cards because this is... Who is this twin flame that's coming in for Pisces? Who is this twin flame situation? What is this new situation that's coming in for Pisces? Okay, the Six of Pentacles. What is this new person? What is this new person coming in for Pisces? Okay, we have the Six of Wands, Six of Swords, the Five of Cups. Who is this new person? Coming in for Pisces. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Wands again. You know what? I'm not sure if this Twin Flame is going to come in because you're still you're still holding out for this person. You're still holding out for this person who is reluctant to make a commitment. You really want this person to give give you what you need because I feel like. You give so much to this relationship, Pisces. Now, I feel like you're looking for a return on that. I feel like you want them to give you something. But you're reluctant to move on. You want calmer waters. You want to move on with less baggage. But with this Five of Cups here, I feel like you're just stuck on what this person's doing. You're not seeing what can be. You have the Hierophant here as well. So, Pisces, you understand the truth. And I feel like you...
what I feel like saying is look for answers, more clarity in your dreams. Because I feel like this is your spiritual side with these keys at the bottom and pointing up to heaven. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like, I feel like these are the keys to your heart and your person's heart. And they're laid down. They're not being held by anybody. They're just laid down. And I feel like Spirit is letting me know for you to look to a higher source for guidance. Well, Pisces, yeah, you are deep today. Yes, you are. Let's get a outcome. Let's get an outcome for the situation. What do we have as an outcome for Pisces? In love for December. What's the outcome, please? The Six of Swords again. Yeah. You need to move on and have a new journey. Take a risk. Start something new. I'm surprised that the tower didn't come out. But yeah, you have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, I feel like you're reluctant to make a brand new start, but you have the Queen of Cups at the bottom. So the uh, Queen of Cups energy, this could be you, Pisces. This could also be a uh, another Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But I feel like you're caught up in your fears, Pisces. You're reluctant to move on to calmer waters. You're reluctant to make a new beginning. You want to. You really want to ride this out and see where it goes. Yeah, I feel like you may have a lot of history with this person. You may have a lot of history with this person. And you're thinking back to how it used to be. You're thinking back to how much you cared about this person before how much they loved you maybe how passionate things were with you but you you feel like something's been taken away it's not the same it's not the same as it was i feel like someone may have come to take something from you maybe there's been cheating maybe there's been lies someone's came and took something from you and now all you want to do is hold on tight to it. You want to secure it. You want to hold on tight for yourself. You don't want to let it go. But you have the magician on the bottom, Pisces. So I feel like you're feeling like you can fix it. You're feeling like you can fix this energy and start again. But can you? Hmm. Okay, let's get some cards to help Pisces through their challenge of this situation. What does Pisces need to work on um, in order to get through this challenge? What does Pisces need to work on to get through this challenge? We have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay. What else do we have? Surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah, I feel like Pisces, you know, you can't control someone else's actions or behavior. You can only control yourself. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yeah, so 
maybe you should lean on uh, your friends. Maybe you should, or maybe this is a friend that turned into a lover. Hmm. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And that's what I have for you. And at the bottom, you're in indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Definitely Pisces. Use your intuition. Your intuition is the most highest of the, the tarot. Pisces is the most intuitive sign that there is. Use your intuition and let your intuition guide you through this situation or guide you past it. Which one is for your highest good? Okay, Pisces, that's what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on the situation. Maybe that will give you more messages that will give you the answers that you need or help you through the situation. And many blessings to you, Pisces. Have a wonderful December. Love and light.